The monument to your right is actually Father Manuel Blanco, who is considered as the father of the Philippine botany. Recent um, expedition by the Discovery Channel to Hawaii used his publication during the 1800s and the 1900s, the Floras des Filipinas, as a reference because they were trying to find a rare, a rare flower in the Asia Pacific and South Pacific region. That is how much impact Father Blanc Blanco put into the Philippines and that is why he has a garden uh, dedicated to his memorial. We are now in the Legazpi Chapel in the San Agustin Church. This chapel is dedicated to Al Adelantado Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, who is known as the founder of Manila. The most important thing about guiding is really being able to see things from the perspective of your audience. So it's very important for you to be able to communicate and empathize with the audience. Guiding is about helping the visitors understand what they see. Guiding is not lecturing. We may have all the great historical facts and stories in our minds, but we should present it in such a way that it would be fun and interesting to the foreign visitors. To deliver the message in the most entertaining, uh, informative, and engaging manner. You should have a special eye for seeing things. You should have a special passion. It's not just about presenting your country to the group, but also taking care of the group and being the leader of the group. I realized that tour guiding involves developing a lot of empathy for the tourists. So when we think about their safety, we think about their comfort, and we think about how they react to what we're saying, it's basically a way of trying to find out what they feel and responding to that. It is also an art of creating an experience for them to want to come back to us. The guiding is a craft, and that's what we learn from our trainers. The most important thing I learned about guiding is being able to serve other people and being able to bring out the best about the Philippines. As guides, we should love what we do, and we should love the country which we want to show to the rest of the world. You learn to be passionate about what you do, and more importantly, you learn to be passionate about your country. The most important thing I believe about tour guiding is for you to really love what you're doing because if you don't love what you're doing or if you don't really know or love also the places that you're taking your tourists to, then it will show and you won't be an effective tour guide. I remember very clearly our London tour guide, Nikki Evans, who told us, if you stop feeling the passion for tour guiding, then please stop doing it. We have reached the end of our six-week training. Something that we have fought hard for and long awaited. Our reason for joining was one and the same. All of us shared the same vision. A strong desire to share our talents for the benefit of the tourism industry and the Philippines. We consider it our honor and privilege to be called Mabuhay Guides. And we are committed to serve the department and be the best that we can be so that other people may appreciate our country the way we do. I hope to be the best of the best and to promote and uplift the Philippines and to have people come back. Professionally, of course, I would want to generate return visits to the country because that's my purpose as a Mabuhay Guide. Okay. To be able to create that want so that the foreigners would want to come back. First, I want to have more guests here in the country. And uh, if a lot of people do share positive aspects about the Philippines, then I think that we can provide more jobs here. It is my hope that 
the Mabuhay Guides would be part of changing the mindset or changing how the world looks at the Philippines. I want to show the best of the Philippines. To be able to show more people, especially the Filipinos, that we should take pride in what we have. As a Mabuhay Guide, I envision that uh, my tour guiding would impact on nation building. That this would not just be a simple job for me, but something that would influence my fellow countrymen to be proud of the Philippines and for us to really promote tourism in the country. My very first goal is to share my passion for the country. It's really what I want to spread. I want Filipinos to be proud of being Filipinos. What we learned changed me. It changed me in two weeks that I went into the Department of Tourism to study. If every Filipino know what we know, then we would be a better country. If there's like the nursing or culinary or the flight attendant is the in thing right now, I hope that someday if someone wants to apply for a job, you know, I want to be a Mabuhay guide and that is really the most fulfilling. Our first batch of graduates, and I have to say I'm very proud of this uh, first batch of graduates. They come from different backgrounds, different professions, and they went through such a rigorous six weeks program, taking seminars from topics of culture to performing arts to history from the best. In fact, their tour guiding techniques comes from a London Blue Batch. This is really the cream of the crop. I just want to see the success of this first batch. The success of the program will depend now on, on the success of these individuals professionally. If they become successful as a professional tour guide, then the continuation of the program would just come naturally. And so we have our first batch of Mabuhay guides, successfully graduated but still very much a work in progress. But they're not the only ones. We all have a Mabuhay guide in each of us waiting to be let loose. All we have to do is know more about our country and our culture and share it with the world. I'm Susan Calo Medina. Huwag maging dayuhan sa sariling bayan.